Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. Yes! Last time we managed to get this absolutely monstrous army out there. We did lose Rawberg, of course, <laughs> which is slightly unfortunate. Um, but I'm hoping we can get to Baradur this turn, uh, this uh, episode. We shall see. We still need to get there. We still need to make sure that Kargukor, uh, should I say, is happy. Which it very much isn't if we take out the boys. As you can see. Still stuck on 50%. Let's have a look then. He's only getting that extra 5%. It's that religious unrest which is just crazy. Uh, but hopefully that should go down and down the more Northmen we get in the settlement. Yes, my lord. Unless Morgul rats, as we should say. Uh, but let's press the end turn. Nearly on turn 100, guys. Yeah, nearly there. Turn 100, which is very nice indeed. Very much looking forward to turn 100. When we get there, we'll probably do another Toggle Fog of War as well. We've not done, we, we did one relatively recently, but not too long ago. And Dorthlu did have one turn left to siege. So it's definitely... Uh, time to destroy this army. We probably could have destroyed it a bit earlier, but I just wanted to take our time. This army's quite damaged. Didn't want to have to destroy the recruitment pools of Santanwi, Strondost, or Mornothel too much uh, by taking this very early. Norway the Great. What a man. What a man. Or should I say an elf? What an elf. Look at that. Uh, full command, full chivalry, nearly full loyalty, and lots of piety as well. Very nice. What's that? Terribly scarred. Gets extra hit points for that. Fantastic. That means he's had a close shave in a couple of battles. Well, let's get into the battlefield, and let's destroy these filthy orc armies. Here we are, and it was jerking a little bit then, so that's slightly scary. Um, but... <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, my friends. Welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. Yes, we do. We have lots of fun and games. When the map gods give you such a map, you would be loath to ignore them. <laughs> because look at this. That is a ridiculous map. That is a ridiculous map. Uh, let's go. I mean, we're so... I hate how disorganized these, <laughs> these units are. It really, really does trigger me. Uh, but with these boys, let's get them there. Let's defend on this side as well. I mean, we could run into the situation where they're coming up from behind us. But I very much doubt it. Um, and then, like, the rest of you boys, how are you all? Let's get you up here. Let's see what we have. Some Rovanian hunters. They can get this side and fire down that way. Get you boys. You've got some good experience as well. Uh, and then it's just kind of dregs, really. Uh, the rest of them. Privateer Axeman, you can have a good a bit of a good time in the front line there. Let's get our cavalry slightly further back. And the Avari Naharim can stay up here and fire. Uh, oh, we've got these heavy Privateer cavalry as well. So, let's get there. Let's spread out. Nice long line. And they're just not going to break through this, are they? That's even got a, a thing there. So, yeah, they're, they're just not going to break through this. Uh, we've got the Rovanian boys. Let's get you back. Uh, and, yeah, we'll spread out slightly. We're a bit, th a bit thin on the ground, aren't we, over this side? You guys there. Let's get the Bladesmen on this side. But, yeah, the map gods have given us... A great gift today, guys. A very great gift in the rain, and uh, we've got to take it. We've got to take it, haven't we? You're not gonna, you're not gonna ignore such a gift as this one. Got our Moriquendi Sentinels. I don't know how close they have to be to fire. Oh, they have to be quite close, honestly. This side, this side's a bit closer. But yeah, speed that up. Speed it up. Well, I hope you're all doing well, guys. Do make sure you like and subscribe the video. It does really help the channel out. While we're here. And it looks like we're going to start firing. Oh, we're firing this way, actually. Oh, my God. Look at the shreddage. That's what we call shreddage. Whoop, whoop. 
I need to stop whoop whoop. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I'm not a juggalo, I promise. <laughs> uh, shoot the Salfron warband. The Avari Naharim should be sh firing now as well. Half of them, before they even get to the lines, boys. Before they even get to the lines. The poor South runs are getting absolutely shredded. They're probably regretting all that they have done so far. Oh, the Morgul Chosen. That's probably someone we should aim at. What do they have there? Moran and Guard. That's trash. Don't care about that. Uh, yeah, keep firing on the South runs, I guess. I mean, these guys have split. I don't know why. We could literally probably kill all of this army just with our cav if we wanted to. So let's get them ready to go. Especially when they start routing, we're going to have to go follow them down. Got these guys firing javis. No, they're coming around this way now, which is good. Morgul Chosen. I mean, the Morgul Chosen aren't that good. They're, just, they're a very good defensive unit, but they're not a good offensive unit in any way, shape, or form. So we've not got it. We've not got an issue here, have we? Gold experience on this Darwinian Swordmasters, which is good. Let's just get down there and start fighting these boys. We don't need to hang back anymore, do we? Let's get down there. How many arrows have you still got left? I mean, quite a lot still. What is that? Orc Raiders. Oh dear me. It's not the uh, perfect unit for this. They are just absolute trash munchers. Let's go. But we do have trash munchers on our side as well. That should pretty much break them. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. They're dunners, aren't they? They're absolutely dunners. Yes, good. Easy mode, my friends. Easy mode. Right, let's get uh, you guys get after the Black Orc Archers. I mean, they will lose the settlement, but I kind of I want to make sure we destroy the... Um, I want to make sure we destroy the army as well. That's the other thing. Oh, they're, go they're running now as well. So who have they got left? Simply the Moranin Guard. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Fire at them. These guys coming. How many have we killed? 85. I mean, we should be good. But let's just make sure we can kill all of them. Yeah, I think they're going to escape. Oh, well. Oh, we killed another general. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Uh, I mean, yeah, 93%. Yeah, both of those armies should be dead. Very nice. We only lost 19 men. 19. The Mori Quendi Sentinels and the Avari Shadows doing all the work there. Fantastic. Right, let's get back onto the uh, campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And, of course, let's execute. And I think we did destroy that one. So let's sack the settlement. It'll probably be very uh, orcish now. And Dolgador has come straight away. Yes, yeah, time to get Edward in out onto the field. Ooh. Looks like they're quite strong. I mean, it's decent experience on these units, but I'm not very scared of them. The Oryx Slayers are decent. I mean, those Orc Maulers with a bit of experience are okay as well. What does Camul... Wait. Camul Shadow Knights. Now, that is scary. Oh, we've got Vine Lord Swain. Not Edward in. Edward in's in the other army. He does have 78, though, of uh, of the boys, of the uh, the High Paladins, which is very good. Well, we're going to have to use our Avari Naharim to get rid of Kamul, because they are a very, very good unit. 29. He's the faction leader. Who did we kill, then? I think it was... Uh, I can't remember. Oh, they got Trolls as well. And Shadow Guard. And Shadow Rangers. So, we are going to have to take a very defensible position. But they they don't have much cavalry. We've got a lot of cavalry. And we've got a very good army. So, yeah, I'm not too worried. He's attacked me from that side. They're going to come in from the back left. So, we need to be back right if we are defending. But a big battle, nonetheless, my friends. Vine Lord Swain. What a beast. Versus Kamul, the Easterling. And, of course, pretty old Yagduff over here. Right, let's get into the battle. This is going to be a brutal one, I feel. So let's have a go. And honestly, them coming in the mist is not a problem. I was really worried that it was going to be like a really tree-filled map because we're in Mirkwood. But luckily, they've kind of balanced it so that it's not just full of trees all the time. Um, I don't want a hug box. Uh, 
But I do want to set up in this corner here. Uh, not like fully hug box, of course, but just, you know, just because they're coming in from the left. I don't want to set up like over here and then them flank me on that side of these guys come around this way. So, yeah. All right, well, I think in terms of the line, let's do these boys as the main line. They've got a pretty big army. And what we'll do is we'll set our spearmen on either flank. And we'll get these guys around this side, if we can. And they will fire their javis, then flank the enemy. Not the greatest flanking force, but I don't think they'll be too bad either. We're just going to be wary of those trolleys. So we'll get Vine Lord Swain in the middle here with his high paladins. And the Avari Naharim, they can start up this way. Right then. Yeah, they are coming in directly from that left-hand side. So, like I say, we want to be wary of that. Uh, we can protect our flank. I'll protect one flank with the side of the map. It's not too bad. Not really that exploity. Uh, those guys there. Vine Lord Swain, let's get you here. And then these spearmen. Let's get you there. Just going to be wary of those trolls. Like I say, these jabbies, we might actually turn these guys off until the trolls get into the fight. Because the trolls are going to be the ones that we want to worry about. Right, let's come down this way. And let's go after the Shadow Knights. Where are they? There's Shadow Rangers. I thought he was a cavalry unit. Where are you? Kamul, come out from hiding. Oh, no, this is is this is Yagduff. So, what we actually want to do is not get over this way. We want to come back and go after Kamul. I'm so confused as to where my soldiers are right now. Right, boys, let's go. Across this way. Let's go after Kamuli. Kamuli Babuli. I, I, honestly, this mist is really disorientating me. <laughs> Embarrassingly so. There they are. These are the boys we want to be worried about. They're a very good unit. Very scary old unit. We're going to turn you off fire at will and we're going to choose our target wisely. Our Avari Naharim are a fantastic unit, of course, but those Kamul Shadow Knights are similar to our... Mounted Knights, Vint Vintner Court Knights, very, very good unit. What the hell are they doing? Why are they standing against the side? Uh, let's get over here anyway. They do have archers, I believe, in this army. They're chasing my men, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Speed it up. Come on, this is, this is going to be a tactical one. I want you to go and fire at them. How close do you have to get to bloody... Guys... Can you stop? Now they're moving. Make sure we're firing at Kamul. We are slowly whittling them down. Uh, he is bringing his other army across to meet these guys. We just need to destroy that, uh, that unit. It's a very, very good unit. Might have to sacrifice my elves here to give it an early charge as well. Um... But yeah, they are going, they are piling forward very, pretty much straight for this flank. So I might turn you boys slightly. Uh, and boys, what are you doing? Let's go. We have whittled them down quite significantly. By uh, firing at the back of them as well, of course, is fantastic. Yeah, we've, we've more than halved them right now, which is really good. But you can see the volley's just hardly doing much damage. And these are some of the best horse archers in the game. Who are we going to fight at now? Oh, my God. Oh, my days. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't even paying attention. That was kind of dumb. Um, oh, here come the trolls. <laughs> what are they doing? Why have they come all the way over here? That's just so dumb, bro. They literally just want to come and chase these boys. <laughs> Well, we're going to have to try and escape. This is a bit of a tricky situation. I could have tried to escape through there. But let's go that way and let's see. I mean, they are just piling on towards this flank, aren't they? I mean, something... I don't really mind that. 
Because, like, we can out... We can out beat all of this infantry. That's not the issue here. And we've lost quite a lot of our men from this bloody... What are you doing, man? Come on! What should I say? Elf. What are you doing? Oh, my God. They're shaking already, those... I told you not to... Oh, God. Come on, man. Get out of there. Why, why move that way? I mean, we're kind of screwing their armies up right now. Oh, let's get over there. <laughs> the Wagwa orders. They've got us. But not very well. Right. Get over here. And just keep running. Right, let's see. Are we in battle yet or not? Kind of. <laughs> right. Everyone that can, fire at Kamul's Shadow Knights. Apart from you guys, just fire at whoever you can do. Like I say, extremely good unit. Now, this is where the real fighting begins, boys. But we have given ourselves quite a bit of time... Because they've just decided to attack without the other army. I'm assuming these guys are going to be tired now. They're winded. Not even that tired. Quite impressive, honestly. Right, let's get this cavalry over this side. There go the wargs. They should die very easily against the uh, thorn guard. And the shadow knights have gone into the bladesman. Which probably was a very good... Um, Dolgador Scouts. What are you, Orc Maulers? You should not be very good in a melee, f in a, against a charge. So, let's, uh, let's get into the side of these boys, actually. Let's get send two this way. Like, we should absolutely shred them in this charge. The Shadow Knights are nearly dead, which is good. The Maulers, I'm honestly not worried about the Maulers. We'll absolutely shred them on the charge, boys. Like, look at that. Down to half already. We've got to be wary, though. Of course, we've got another army coming at us, remember? So, we can't spend our cavalry too eagerly and too early. Is the Kamal Shadow Knights gone again? Where are they? Are they there? Yeah, get them. Right, let's go in. Let's get in there. We'll break these boys if we can. And then we're going to have a big charge right in the back of here. Right into the back. Hopefully, we'll be able to set up properly as well. Also, don't want my archers to fire all the time. Those warg marauders. Yeah, they're going after these spearmen. That's a terrible idea, wargs. So, have we broken these boys? It looks like we have. All right, let's set up properly. So we're ready for the charge. Speed it up. Right, you two. Bang in there. You two. Right into Kamul's Shadow Guard. You two. Let's get in there. I didn't realize we were on double speed then. Surround them, boys. Remember, we do have a very good army coming with trolls and everything to beat as well. So, we've got to be wary of that. How many have we routed? No one. We need to kill Kamul. He's just got too much of an influence over this right now. And this time, let's not get our cavalry stuck. <laughs> that was quite funny. Now, the Moriquendi Sentinels are fighting Wagmar orders. Not a problem whatsoever. They'll do plenty good against those boys. Like, all these units, like, normally Orc units, when they get that low, will just run away. But now it's time. Now it's time, boys. Now it's time. We kill them. Let's go. Charge the elves. The brave elven boys. Kind of surprising. The elves are down to half already. But they did take a lot of damage from uh, far away arrows. We can't let Kamul escape. However many, many kills. Where is Kamul? Where is he? I don't even see him. Where is he? He's stuck in the middle here somewhere. That's not him. They're just normal soldiers. Kamul! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Over here somewhere? 
Oh, there he is. He's fully surrounded, so let's get rid of him. This army's quite close now. Well, that's not a problem. Speed it up. God, Kamul has some hit points. Yes! Another Nazgul added to the collection, my friends. And, uh, right, let's get uh, back behind. Oh, we have to set up properly. Let's go, boys. Now, uh, let's get all these guys on fire at will. Should be able to fire on the Shadow Rangers. Slightly scared of anyone coming down this left-hand flank because we're a bit exposed here. But it's fine. I mean, ideally we want to be firing at the trolls with our archers. But the Shadow Rangers ain't a, pro ain't a, bad, uh, a bad target, to be honest. Because they're a very good unit as well. And they're actually getting quite shredded. Nice. Well... They kind of obsessed over... Can we fire at the trolls yet? Oh, boys, let's fire at the trolls. you got to fire at the trolls. Let's go. Because these trolls could carve a filthy hole in our line. Oh, we do need these boys. Let's get them over here. And have their javies on. We've, we've not even used any javies. Even though they've taken damage, we've been... Uh, We've been clever. We've not used the Javis yet. Because we are going to use them on the trolls. And see if the trolls fall just as quick as the Great Beast did. Okay, now they're going over this way. So, whatever. Wherever they go, we'll follow them. Look at all the infant, like all the bloody scouts they've got. Absolute filth. They're actually not too far away from firing. Fire. Fire. Can you fire? You have such a huge range. What is your range? 65 meters. That's like half an archer. That's pretty darn good, I've got to say. Oh, the trolls are dying, man. The trolls are dying. Easy mode, my friends. Let's go. Here come the Dolgador host. There's the wargs. Camel Shadow Guard are coming in on this side. Not ideal against the Thorn Guard, but I have faith in the Thorny Boys. Now you guys can fire at will, whoever you want to fire at. Choose your targets wisely, my friends. Probably that Dolgador host. Uh, we're not actually losing men from friendly fire yet, which is good. Okay, the Orc Fighters have gone to try and go around. But let's get everyone up here and let's get around them. And start smashing them. The Warg Marauders will take them out. No problem. Here come the proper Mirkwood Oryx and the Oryx Slayers. Their proper infantry is coming now, boys. Now we got to hold the lines. God, that was, that was not the best charge. That was a good charge by them, should I say. Fine Lord Swain, let's get you in the fight. Uh, let's go. Warg Marauders, charge properly, please, boys. I know there wasn't far to go. Well, that was not a charge that was very good for us. Much better for the wargs. They've hardly lost any men. Okay, now they're starting to lose men. Can't sustain it for very long. That's their problem. Uh, you guys get it there. Right, you guys bolster the line because this line is, is crumbling. Come on, Swain. Kill these marauders. Let's use defensive stance, boys. Three uses for it. I don't think we've even used that so far. Guys, come on. Kill them. Come on. Kill them. <laughs> this is a big, big battle. We need these guys to bloody hurry up. Kill the wargs for God's sake. God damn it. Come on. What are you doing, men? You just stood there. Come on. Run through them. Kill them all. They just stood there. Fight them, for God's sake. Don't stand there and just take it. Now they're getting out. God damn it, bro. Honestly, sometimes. Ah, yeah, these guys are, are falling. How is the line looking? I mean, it looks good on one side, not on the other. Right, Avari Spearman, get your javies in there. We're going to have to get Vine Lord uh, or, uh, sorry, the High Paladins into the Dolgador host. 
We still do have our Moriquendi and everything to use if we want to. Um, are you stupid? Go kill those stalkers, will you? They're just... Ah, uh, God. Uh, yeah, the Shadow Guard are really, really putting the pound down onto us now. Which is not ideal. Not ideal. I don't care about these archers out here. They don't matter at all. If we don't break these guys in one charge, like, what are we actually doing? Like, come on, cavalry. You can break some bloody goblin stalkers in one charge. Maybe I'm just used to, like, the actual good cavalry, like the Vitna Court Knights. Because at the end of the day, these Thorn Riders are okay, but they're not good. Like, they're not actually a good cavalry unit. Right, speed this up slightly. How can we not break these boys? They're, they're bloody goblin stalkers. They're, they're literally led by Yagduff or whatever the hell he's called. Right, you go fight those orc fighters. So now we can't kill them because they're running away. <laughs> guys, guys oh, oh my god. Oh, are you taking the piss? These guys don't know how to charge. Come on, man. Right. Get in position. Now, charge. That is your job. You are cavalry, okay? Come on. Jesus, man. Should be able to break these orc fighters. Okay, well done. A good charge. That's how you do it. We do that every time now, boys. This is how we do. This is how we do, okay? I'm not talking about the song. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've broken some more, boys. Right, how are we looking on the front? Okay, we, 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 somehow we've just won every front. Good. Good, that's what we like to see, boys. It's the Camel's Shadow Guards and Shadow Rangers that are proving to be problematic. The High Paladins are a very good unit, though. Let's get defensive stance on again. And now, let's go. Camel's Shadow Guard. Don't walk. Charge, my friends. <laughs> let's go. It's got to be it. Yes, that's a good charge. Generally quite decent. They didn't... Oh, he broke every... Oh, he broke everyone. Yes, come on. Um, our infantry just kind of won that. That was quite good. Let's just make sure that we kill enough men. Or should I say orcs and men. Let's get you boys up there. Uh, let's just speed that up. To make sure we get take out some of the bigger the bigger units. You get them. You go get them. Good, glorious victory. Yeah, let's uh, let's accept that. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> we lost eight hundred and we killed pretty much three thousand four hundred. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we like to see, boys. 359 for that Avari Warriors. That is a beastly infantry score for kills. But these ones, 400 and 437. Come on, the boys. They look damaged now. But Jesus Christ, they did some damage. Even so much more than the cavalry. I mean, the cavalry captured a lot of men, but... Cavalry were actually not that good in that battle. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so weird because they're normally fantastic. The Moriquendi Sentinels as well, 316. Seems like the elves are really going in ham at this point in time. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And Yagduff has been captured, but of course. That was a 3,900 bounty. <sighs> you just love the villages, don't you? You love to see it. That's what we like to see, boys. <laughs> Village defenses! Oh, come on. This is what a guy's called Yagduff as well. Let's... Oh, okay. I was so very worried then. I was so very worried. Well, why do they think they can beat this? I mean, okay, it's because of the, um, the militia garrison thing. They don't know that it exists. The Watchers also resolve this and lose this time, even though it's a smaller army. <laughs> Yeah, you can't lose that. Right, let's sack Austin Gale. Nice. And it's actually 
looks like we can see a little bit as well. Maybe, uh, is that because I'm a spy or do we have a watchtower over there in the west? I think, yeah, I think we do have a watchtower in the top of there. So we can actually see up, up to where. So Dolgador does have land west of us, which is very annoying. <laughs> Mount Gundabad has been overrun. Wow. Care Andros is now under attack. Bree's doing well. Fantastic. I love to see Bree doing well. Varfest is still rioting. Why is it still on 50%, bro? Just all that cultural religious unrest. I mean, we've got the tomb. That's the best thing that we could have. We could maybe delete some of this stuff that is orcish. So... But it does. It says religious unrest. Oh, there's also 30% normal unrest as well. But I don't know. In Med 2, is that linked to these buildings as well? Because normally it's split in Rome and Rome Remastered. Um, But yeah, we just need our culture to take over. And it would be nice if we could get maybe another unit there. Uh, do we have any spare boyos? We do have these guys. They're not great. And it's going to take them a couple of turns to get there. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, to store Dolgador. Yep, yeah, that's happened twice. Yep, to store Dolgador. Uh, and yep, faction announcements. Vanderkind. We just got him. So, I think if Varfest is going to keep on doing this, let's get down. Fact, we should probably... You're going this way. We should probably swap out with the guy in Bird Americus because it'll be one turn quicker to do that. Santan, we got a bit of a retraining going for the boys. And we're getting some more troopers. Troopers. And we got 48,000 gold. Quite a lot. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what to do with it. Our, our recruitment hasn't caught up to our economy, which is interesting because early game, it was the other way around. So we've got a ration hall, which is fine. Carpenter's hut, definitely like that. The brawler's pit, we don't need. I'll take the grog hall. Camp guard, we don't need the practice range. Neither do we need the warg breeder. Take the ballista, the slave quarters. And they do have a militia garrison in here, which is good. Um, I need somewhere around here where I can actually recruit men. <gasps> oh! Yes! Tostura, you beautiful... What the hell? Absolutely fantastic! Tostura! Tostura! oop a doop a doop a doop a doop Ah, you beautiful bastard! Ah, oh, fantastic! Oh, glorious. I mean, why can we... Like, that? that's very good, though. I'm happy with that. Now, this army is very good. A few guys have actually merged into one, which is a bit upsetting. Can we leave? Actually, we can. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but fine. Let's get some woodland warriors. Oh, definitely. Get some more LV boys. We love the elves around here. And let's go for Dolgador. Like, I'm not fucking around anymore, man. We're going for Dolgador. We are going for Dolgador. Fantastic. Burr Alga. Uh, where's the big boys? Edwardin. Come on, finally. Let's take Rolberg. Once and for all. We've also got to think about Dorthaloo as well. Let's have a look at Dorthaloo. Got the Carpenter's Hut, the Blacksmith, Chicken Farming, Grain Exchanger. Which some of the buildings we did actually build earlier on. Um, so, yeah, we don't need the Brawler's Pit. Uh, we'll take the Camp Guard. It gives a bit of extra lore. Oh, do we have any Northmen in here still? We actually do. We've got others as well. We've got some others. Whoever they are, wherever you're from, you are others. Others to us. Well, let's see. Can we leave Dorthaloo just with the Rovanian Hunters in there? Yes, we can. Oh, my God. Glorious. Well, if we take, go up here and take this one pretty much straight away. 
And let's get some mercenaries. We've got enough money. We don't need to worry about paying for mercenaries anymore. What that will do is if we take Rawberg and this one, should hopefully maybe reduce... Uh, it's still bordering slightly, but it should reduce them wanting to go and take Rawberg. Um, but anyway, let's get over to Mordor. And uh, let's go in here. Let's have a look then. Can we finally leave? Watch your bet, guys. Place your bet. Absolutely not. Fantastic. Still 50%. Yes. Woo. Did we not recruit some guys in here? We did. Right. I think we can take three. I think Avalon's Rest is quite good. Yeah, we, we stayed in Avalon's Rest for a while. We've got an army marching down, haven't we? You go, Karl Gurkor. See whether we can recruit any good troops because we have so much money. Uh, no. I will take a Thorn Guard every now and then, though. They are quite good. Um... Uh, and let's take a rider, because we need some more cavalry for this army. And another rider there as well. But yeah, we've pretty much nearly got another army. Right, let's have a look at the construction. Naburka got a port. Fantastic, that makes us even richer. Uh, what about around here then? Yeah, probably the uh, the farms. Mistran got the... Mistran 5,500. It is on 0% population growth, however. I mean... Yeah, look at this. It's just so good. So good. Uh, we need population growth in Mistrand. It is a minor city already, which... Yeah, well, well when we're going to build these big ones, we don't need to worry about money too much, but let's get the Mason's Dockyard. Uh, Mason's Dockyard? Mason's Guildhouse. <laughs> uh, Viltor, let's go for the sheep farming, probably. Uh, to story, we've got the chicken farming, and that allowed us to grow. Very nice. Uh, Varfest is still just retraining and recruiting. Repairing. Right, let's, uh, still got 37 grand in the bank. Where are our guys? Like, maybe we can buy some land off someone. <laughs> uh, how about the elves? Are they still alive? I want your land. I want all the elven lands. Fangorn camp up there. Let's go. Uh, Olaf. You're at Oibamari. Can I have some regions? Like, I don't know, like some of these. Just for a bit of banter. <laughs> How about, I'll give you map information. But I'll also give you like 10,000. Nah. No. Well, well. We gave it a go, didn't we? 37,000 in the bank for the boys. That's what we like to see. I should have checked if everywhere is building. Because Enmahalf isn't building. So maybe we weren't building everywhere last turn. I just did the construction off the scroll, not off actually looking down the list. Ah, well. That's a bit annoying, but it's fine. But yeah, this, uh, this episode's been pretty fun. Testure has grown... Now it's time for Rolberg to be ours. We'll take it. Once more. Because we've taken it, you know, three or two or three times already. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, Rolberg is just. Yeah, it's a nightmare, really, isn't it? I do feel bad for, like, Dale and that because. Um, you're 43, but in this mod, that's not even old, so that's fine. Uh, Varfest. <gasps> Finally, Varfest! I guess over 40%, you've lost a lot of that religious unrest. And the, oh, the unrest, the normal unrest went down a lot. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, character was affected, but... I don't know. We'll go back to Austin Airy then. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the time it will take for the guy to get there then now. Can you get... Oh, you can. Fantastic. Let's leave and let's see what happens. Can you get in cargo core? Oh, 55%. Not even that bad. You guys get in. Uh, what about another one of these boys? 60%. I mean, there's no easy wins here, though, for happiness, apart from maybe the herbalist. It does take two turns. 
Are we willing to risk it for two turns? I mean, probably, to be honest. Oh, let's get a merchant. I hate merchants, but not today. We love merchants. 65 now. Glorious. Well, let's go for Baradur, boys. The march on Baradur has started with pretty much the weakest army that you've ever seen to take Baradur. <laughs> but that's fine. Karasant. Let's go with some more sheep farming. Get a bit of growth. Enmahath got the sheep farming as well. I think uh, Enmahath needs to grow, really. Let's go for the uh, Apothecary. For that extra health, that'll give us more population growth. Elgaia finally got roads. Nice. Let's go for some more farming. Lest got the trader exchange. Lest is getting quite rich now as well. Uh, needs 9,000 to upgrade, but that's fine. Let's get the crop rotation in there. Beralga got the tomb. Uh, Beralga's not fantastic, is it? But that's fine. Let's get the chicken farming. Just lots of chicken farming. That's pretty much all we do in, in Dorwinian, apparently. We don't build vineyards, we build chicken farming. <laughs> uh, right, let's... So, Avalyn's Rest. I know it's a city and not a castle. But let's get the Thorn Armory. Should allow us to actually retrain boys if we need to down here. Cargo Court also got the Royal Hall then. But yeah, let's get the Herbalist definitely. I think that's the best option. And let's also check we're building it everywhere else. Because I don't think we're building an Enmarth. Hell, it said it, we weren't. Oh, we, we have just started building there. Good. Marriage for the boys. Let's go. End of turn report. And Karasant, we've got a guy. So you, my friend. Santanwi. Santanwi, Kavrad, Ilanin. Well, Santanwi doesn't actually have a general. So I'm wondering, Vine Regent Harwin is a good... Well, we might as well march him onto the battlefield, hey? We've marched everyone else out onto the battlefield. <laughs> We are very much, like, at the end game now, really. Uh, Dolgador is still proving a bit troublesome, but apart from that, it's a bit annoying that they have these lands over here, because I just want to go... How... I mean, this army's very good. If they came... Oh! They got the spiders! And they've also got castellans of Dolgador. Those are, those are some quite good units, I'm not going to lie. It's also got Shadow Knights over here. They've really started recruiting some very good units. Um, I don't... I can't, if I, I can't remember. I don't think Dolgador is too bad to siege. Do the towers fire at Dolgador? I can't... I just can't remember. Uh, yeah, Barador. Let's see if he's got any big armies around here, just to make sure we're all right. He's got literally nothing back here. He's fighting everywhere else, so that's fine. Sauron, don't you worry, son. We're coming for you, my friend. We're coming for you. Uh, yeah, you're going... How about Mornithel? Can we recruit anything good here? No. We need this one. How are we? Yeah, 89% Northmen. Very good. What we like to see. Yeah, you stay in Karasant. Got our guys up here. Oh, we've got the Privateer Axeman boyos. Got Rawberg. Right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end it there today. So thank you very much for watching. We are on to monster marches. They are a bit crazy. The, the Dolgador one is definitely... Like, both of these armies are severely weakened right now. But they're also still very strong. I'm just slightly worried. If he brings this army and we have to fight spiders and Kamul Shadow Knights, might be a slight problem. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I think it'll be okay. We shall see, guys. So, and also Barador doesn't look very defended, but this army, again, is not fantastic. So, but it's bold, it's brave, and we've got the money to do so. We don't need to wait around anymore, do we? So, yeah, we might as well get charging ahead. 
I'm getting elves all over the place. Just need to get that recruitment in Mornathel one more turn and we'll be good. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.